Hey everyone, welcome back to the My Team series. And uh, in this episode, we are going to the Austrian Grand Prix. But before we head to the Austrian Grand Prix at the Red Bull Ring, we have a few things to do at the factory. So let's go and have a look at what we did. So we had quite a bit of money to spend on the facilities. So we had about two and a half mil, I think that is. And uh, yeah, we decided to spend two million of that on the quality control at the aerodynamics factory. Um, which will be good, it just means that hopefully things won't fail so much, um, which will be good as we have had a few parts fail recently, which uh, is a bit annoying. And right on cue, we have had a part fail. Uh, the roll dampers from last episode didn't go through, so we will end up doing those again, and that's going to cost us a further 287 R&D points. So we still had some more R&D points, so I decided to go and spend them at the aerodynamics facility, uh, factory, sorry. And we spent it on the front wing main flap, so that should just help with the front end downforce. And that should arrive, hopefully without failing, after this next race. And we also got an email from our boy Carl here, and he told us that uh, the Renault engine has actually been boosted from Renault. Um, but I didn't notice any difference, I couldn't see actually what had improved. Um, so maybe this is just a bit delayed, but yeah, apparently we've got more power. And as always, the last thing we look at before we head to the track is the performance index and as you can see we are still the second worst car on the grid but both Alfa Romeo and Haas have sort of improved in towards that group of Alfa Tauri, Renault and McLaren um, so yeah apart, apart from Williams basically everyone else is pretty close together so again points should be very interesting right so that's everything done at the factory let's head to qualifying for the Austrian Grand Prix So here we are, we didn't waste any time about going up for our first lap. So let's go and have a look and see what happened. So we decided to go out early and I think we are actually getting a tow off the car in front. At least that was my thinking anyway. Who is it? It's Magnussen in a Haas in front. So hopefully we can get a bit of a tow and he shall make us go a bit quicker. Um, I'm quite a big fan of this track. Uh, you can't really get too many corners wrong as there aren't too many corners and Magnussen's kind of holding us up a little bit so that plan's already gone out the window and he's squeezing us a lot what's he doing uh squeezed us right off the track there obviously didn't want us to get uh, much of a toe or a good lap in on our first lap so yeah not too bad so far can't complain so about halfway through the lap already this corner I always find is quite tricky is it's quite blind seem to be doing all right in fifth gear we seem to be struggling through this part of the track um, just in general I think which is quite slow there but the first part of the lap is quite quick so yeah not really sure where we're going to come as we're coming up towards the end of the lap now last corner gear four nailed it foot to the floor hopefully we can get a good time in and that is a 1046 and that puts us 17th so very close to getting out as Kevin Magnussen's what 0.09 seconds in front of us so we could definitely get out here what else happened Nobuharu is 19th about two tenths of a second back from us any other surprises not really but yeah we're definitely on the cusp of getting out so uh yeah let's go and have a look all right our last attempt in Q1 so Magnussen's still ahead of us as we're going to our final lap, up to the first corner, down to gear four. Run Bruh. very wide, although we have gained a little bit through there. So up nearly a tenth of a second by cutting that corner a little bit. As we come up to sort of a hairpin, not really a hairpin though, is it? But it's very easy to lose traction as we did have a little moment there um, and lost a little bit of time as we were up about three tenths and now we're up about two and a half. So currently I think we'd be all right. A little bit wide there as it does drop away so it's quite easy to lose it there as well up three tenths into the blind corner a little bit slow but at least it's tidy nice and tidy again so this is the quick bit of the lap now again towards the end coming up about 50 meters you want to break downshift to gear six last corner down to gear four get the extra rotation foot to the floor 
I'm about five tenths, and I'm not sure where that put us. Well, I think we probably would have been out with that. And yes, we are. We're through. We got P7 at the moment, so that is really quick. So yes, yeah, so we've got Q1 by miles. It is very tight though. So we did a one, 104.1, and Pierre Gazzi there in 14th did a 104.3. So it's only a couple of tenths uh, between us and 14th there. So yeah, though, as I was saying prior to qualifying, it's very tight with the rest of the cars. So the top three or 14 are quite close, but everyone else is pretty close bar Williams. And then looking at the drives that got knocked out, we have Nobuharu in 19th. And is there any other surprise? Only that Grosjean, our rival, qualified 17th. So that is good news for us. Everyone else, I think, is kind of expected, really. So yeah, on to Q2. Get in there. So in Q2, we only have a medium and a one set of soft tyres that are new. Uh, so I decided to do a couple of laps on the medium tyre just to get a feel for the track a little bit, as I haven't done too much practice. Um, but the medium tyre is so slow. So as you can see, we are 7 tenths of a second slower than Esteban Ocon on the soft tyre. So I reckon we can get about a second, maybe, on the soft tyre compared to the medium, as it is quite a big difference. And where would that put us? That would put us around Kvyat and Sainz and Magnussen. So, yeah, getting out of Q2 into Q3 is going to be pretty tricky, I think. But, hey, let's give it a go and see what we can do. All right, here we go. Final run in Q2. So on the soft tyre this time, going into the first corner, a bit slower through that, which is surprising. No, we are gaining, we're gaining now on it. So yeah, really slow going through that first corner, which isn't good news. Up to turn three, drop down to gear two for that extra rotation. Possibly could have gone down to gear one, but we're up three and a half tenths. As another long straight comes towards the end, down to gear three. Oh, that's much quicker. You could just tell by the way it gripped that time. So up eight tenths of a second. Again into the blind one. Very tricky to get that right. A bit too slow through that, but nearly up a second. Gone a little bit wide there, so we're going to lose a bit of time. So yeah, this is going to be close. Down to gear six. And then coming up down to gear four. And nearly 1.2 seconds as we run a little bit wide. Where is that going to put us? That is going to be really close, actually. And that is P11. Oh, I wonder how close we were. I guess we'll find out. And it is... Oh, it's quite a bit, actually. So Lando is two and a half tenths quicker than us. So, yeah, I think we did a 104.1 before. So even so, yeah, it's still a couple of tenths out. Uh, but yeah, P11. Not bad, we might be able to get some points this weekend. Any other surprises in there? No, not really. Ocon, Mags and Kvyat, Sainz and Gasly out with me. Uh, yeah, so that is qualifying. Very, very happy with that, um, as we still are in the second worst car. But that is a great qualifying. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we can do a bit of uh, good racing, let's hope, and get some points. Because that would be a result, to get two races back to back with points. So the only thing left to do is look at the rivalry breakdown. Uh, we got two and Grosjean got one point. So we are now leading seven to five going into tomorrow's race. So yeah, that's going to wrap up this one. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, then smash that like button as it really helps us out. And if you want to see more content like this, then don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Alrighty then, I've been Jumbo and I'll see you for the race tomorrow.